Good luck, everybody. The box break. Let's see what we can find. Coming up here at our 89 upper deck baseball break. We're going to randomize both lists, the owner names and teams, seven times a piece, and then stack the lists up side by side. So start with the owner names going through here. All right, lucky number seven. And the first random is all finished. Now we're going to do the same thing with the teams. That's how you get your team randomly. Good luck scoring the Mariners. Lucky number seven. All right, all right. So now you can see your team in the break. Okay, Seattle is belonging to Brock T. Okay, Brock. Yeah. It's definitely one of the best teams to own. There's all kinds of good teams in here to own. We'll see what we can pull out of the break. We're going to give this in alphabetical order by team name. Let's see what we can pull out of here. Maybe, just maybe, it'll be a Griffey Jr. rookie. There's a lot of great stuff in 89 Predict, though, that's for sure. The first hit out of here is the very first hit in 89 upper deck is going to the Blue Jays owner. It's a Junior Felix, Jim Mint 10, Junior Felix for Joseph F. Next up in the break. Floyd Yeomans Phillies Frank G hits an 89 upper deck Phillies there are four hits in each break and maybe we have a big one here next who's this Jeffrey Leonard for the Mariners.
the final hit in the box break in 89 Upper Deck Baseball is a Kent Herbeck. Okay, Minnesota Twins. They would go on to a World Series, I think, in 91. They, they made it to the World Series with Kent Herbeck uh, right there at first base. Minnesota Twins owner, congratulations. Joseph F. Jim Mick, graded 10. Herbic. All right, it's always exciting in some 89 upper deck. We didn't find the big one, but it's a, just a thrill ride every time. Because, you know, there's some big ones in there. So here's a link to our next break coming up. We've only got a few spots left. And I hope you hop in with us.